This is the login page for CalPads. You can see that my username and password are populated by the cache and cookies in my browser. I'm going to click on the checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions. These are found in the LEA Admin Appendix A, which covers both school site users and LEA wide users who are using CalPads. I'm going to change my organization type to be the LEA type. Here in Palo Alto, you see that the status tables change to reflect that organizational type. I'm going to show you how to add a user. Because I'm the LEA admin, I go to the admin tab and I have the ability to click on user management, taking us to the user management page. I'm going to add a new user. So we click on that tabbed section of this page. I can see that it's working because we see the wheel spinning. And I'm going to add my user, Kimmy Schmidt. And the organizational domain for my LEA and I'm going to click on add a new user. When we add a new user to CalPads, that email address is the key data element that connects this individual user to the system. And so now that I've added Kimmy, I need to also tell CalPads what organizational type user she will be. Will she have the ability to see the entire LEA or just a school? And the way that I do that is by clicking on Assign Org. The button Assign Org gives us the options for LEA or school. And in this case, I'm going to have her be an LEA user over my LEA, Palo Alto. There are no schools are in the Available Schools box because the distinction LEA org type tells CalPads that all schools will be available to this user. And I'm also going to give her all roles because she is my assistant and she's going to help me. I'm also going to give her the auto post for both. Auto post is discussed in Essentials 3 and also discussed when we talk about file upload and SSID matching. So you can see now in the results table that Kimmy has an org type associated to her account of LEA at Palo Alto Unified. This includes all the schools within the Palo Alto Unified LEA. You can expand and collapse the roles by clicking on the Expand Collapse Roles link. There's also the number 38 next to the roles so that you can see at a quick glance how many roles this user has. If I wanted to edit those, I would click here. This only allows me to edit the roles, not the org type. And so I could then choose which ones I wanted to take away or add. And if I decided that Kimmy no longer needed access to CalPads or wanted to leave our LEA, maybe she retired or got a better job somewhere else, then we would delete her account association with Palo Alto by clicking delete. So she's still historically going to be a user in the system, but she'll have no access, so she wouldn't be able to log in.